are the strangest things spotted deep on Google Maps. In today's video, we look at mysterious statues caught moving on camera, two-headed animals you will not believe exist, strange cats that have grown multiple heads and peacock tails, and even cursed animals found in your favorite foods. What weird things will be spotted deep on Google Maps today? I dare you to watch this video to find out. What is he doing? Wait, what's who doing? I don't see nobody nowhere. Oh, that is a man. That is an actual dude inside of a toilet. This reminds me too much of when the bullies in school used to give people swirlies. You know, when they take your head and pop them in the toilet and swirl them around until your whole head gets wet and you drink some of the toilet water. I think the same thing happened here. Except I think Buddy slipped and fell and went in a little too deep. I found a haunted church filled with ghosts? Oh, no, no, no. If there are ghosts out there, I don't want to see it. I don't want to believe it. I just don't want to know. Let me live my life in peace. <gasps> oh, whoa. What is that? I don't think Buddy was lying. But if you are really ghosts, what are you doing in a church? I'm pretty sure ghosts do pretty bad things like haunt people, scare people. <laughs> Wake me up in my sleep when I'm dreaming about cute boys. Not cool, ghost. Not cool. Y'all shouldn't be chilling in a church. You should be chilling with some hot charcoal down below. Because that's where you really belong. Boo. Bye, ghost. We ain't gonna miss you. Okay, I know there's been lots of speculation on where Siren Head lives and where he comes from, but I think these people on Google Maps finally figured it out. And to be honest, I don't know if we're ready to hear this secret because it gets pretty weird. Okay, here's a regular place and boom! <gasps> Siren Head's... Siren thing. I guess his head, because his head's made out of a siren or two or three. I don't know. All I know is he's creepy and really freaking annoying making all that sound. Like, dude, we get it. You're here. I see you. I'm so scared. Now, can you shut up now? Is this real? Is what real? You tell me, sir. I'm ready to be shocked. I'm ready to be scared. I'm ready to be confused because that's what most of these videos have been doing to me. <laughs> That was Spider-Man. Fighty dude. What are you doing out here posing for Google Maps? Are they sponsoring you? You making some money off of a brand deal? Get that bag, Spidey. $20 here, $30 there, $40, $50. Spidey's getting rich. And I like it. Soon Spidey's gonna be pulling up in that 124 Spider sports car. Thanks, Google. Send this to a friend to let them know there is an island for them? Wait, is there an island named after your friend? Maybe it's called the Alexia Island. Maybe it's called the Family Island. Oh, I'm excited to see what it's... Excuse me? I know we did not just get clickbaited. How they gonna do us like that? Hidden on Google Earth? That was rude. Maybe I will send this to a friend. If I had any friends. So instead, I'm just gonna send it to you. Cause you're the real disappointment. Hmm. Proof that giants exist? Uh, I thought the only giants that existed in this world were basketball players, but I'm ready to be proved wrong. What do we got here? Oh, uh, that is weird. A giant sculptor of a bald-headed man with what seems to be only one eye? Weird. Unusual. But is it proof that giants exist? I don't think so. Hidden on Google Earth? You disappointed me again. Okay, wait until the end. Oh, sometimes it's actually pretty satisfying when they scroll into the map. And then it gets clearer and clearer and clearer every time. <laughs> My dude had to take a quick break from his walk to school to hit a quick dab. Might have made him late for math class, but it was worth it. But miss, if I add one dab to my morning routine each day before I come to school, it adds up to five dabs total. And I know it makes me late for school and all, um, but did you know that five dabs a day also equals happiness? And are you trying to take away my happiness, miss? That ain't cool. Maybe I'ma just subtract myself out of this classroom, cause you suck. The person that's saying you this wants you to know that. Dot, dot. Okay, the suspense is building. What is it? What is it? <gasps> oh, no. Are you flipping kidding me? Hidden on Google Earth again? I'm starting to think that this account is just one big troll. Because he got me good. Almost as good as my finger got when I broke my nail today. Look. Got ya. Craziest places on earth. Uh oh. So if we take a look at this person's yard, we find something quite interesting. What is that? This guy's got his own personal shamu. 
at his freaking house. Okay, not gonna lie, I don't know what a Shamu is. Do you? Shu? Moo? Who? Why does somebody have a whale oh. in their yard? <laughs> Wait, what? I mean, by looking at the size of this house, whoever this is can afford a whole zoo. But he has a whole whale in his backyard? Not gonna lie, pretty epic. I do feel bad for the whale, though, because it doesn't look like he's in that big of a body of water. And those things are so freaking huge. They need space to move around. How's the whale supposed to do anything like work out, get groceries, go on road trips with his family? He can't do no road trips in that small pond. Unless you're trying to do loop-de-loops for fun until y'all pass out. Can you even pass out in water? If water is a thing that makes them breathe, then is it impossible? Hmm. Okay, this is in England. They're zooming in something called the Headington Shark. I don't know why it's called Shark. Kind of a weird name to call. <gasps> oh, something. Okay, I know why they call it a shark now. Because they're psycho and decided to oof a shark and display it on the roof of their house like a real crazy person would do. But from a closer look at this pic, it kind of looks like the shark fell from the sky and broke this person's roof? Maybe this isn't for display and it was actually raining sharks from the sky. You think that's possible? That's taking raining cats and dogs to a whole new level. At least cats and dogs won't bite your whole freaking arm off. Mr. Sharky, sir, I really like my arm and my other arm too and heck, I even like my legs. Please don't bite it off. If you have to bite something off, can you please just bite off my belly button? People always poke me there for fun and to be honest, I always thought it looked weird. So you can take that. Thank you. Zooming, zooming, zooming. Let's see what we got. I'm nervous. Why am I nervous in my heart? Went to <laughs> Was that Chuck E. Cheese? Did he just get off of work and now he's taking a joy ride with his pals in his car? Because why didn't he invite me? I know I might be lactose intolerant and not really eat that much cheese but that doesn't mean i don't want to be your friend like come on dude i still like pizza so is that good enough mm, they do be true though friends do hurt you more than boyfriends because that one hit me here okay we got some regular streets and that looks like a video game okay they fixed it oh uh, excuse me, sir. I think you parked in the wrong spot. Personally, I would move quickly before the police come and ticket your car. That is, if they can reach it. So you know what? On second thought, don't even bother. I think you're good. Can't find ya if they can't find ya. You know what I mean? You know those people who just tell you the same thing about themselves over and over and over again? Hey, I'm a dancer. Oh yeah, that thing that you're doing over there? I would know how to do it too because I'm a dancer. Wow, those people in the movie did that so nice and I would know that because if I didn't already tell you, I'm a dancer. All right, girl, we get it. You shake your pizza and you have fun doing it. I'm proud of you. And these people also took it a little too far and carved a whole flipping guitar in their cornfield? Find a zombie. Oh, no, please don't. Please don't find a zombie. I don't want to see this. I don't want to see it. Oh, I'm nervous. I'm so freaking... Uh. <gasps> Whoa, they weren't kidding. And not only is it one zombie, it's flipping 300 zombies. They move in packs, kind of like wolves, except wolves bite you and maybe you'll lose an arm or something. But zombies bite you and they steal your soul. I mean, maybe some of you are good because y'all never had a soul to begin with. Ooh, too harsh. But if you got offended, sorry that the shoe just fits so well. Creepy things found on Google Earth. Man in bushes? Why do I feel like he's waiting for someone and it ain't gonna end well? Mannequins in trash? Are we sure those are mannequins or real people? Cloned man? Is he really cloned or you think that's just his twin? Pigeon group? Now that's the weirdest thing I've seen all day. All month. Heck, let's say all flipping year because you know those people are hiding their heads for a reason. Cause what's up here is not normal. And now finally we got whatever the heck this thing is. Is it a person? Is it a plant? Is it a giant energizer bunny? We don't know. But what I do know is it looks like his mouth is ready to chomp on something. And I don't think it's just gonna be carrots. Unless by carrots you mean fingers covered in Cheeto dust. Then yeah, I think he's gonna eat you. Maybe even without the Cheeto dust. Cause he's just hungry. This is an ancient Egyptian statue called Neb Sanu, and it's located in a museum in Manchester, England. The statue just sits on a regular shelf in the museum, minding its own business. Actually, apparently not. Apparently not at all! Because this dude named Campbell Price, who works at the museum, said that he saw the statue moving! And not just moving a teeny weeny bit. Apparently the statue was doing 
doing full on spins and twirls. Like, dude, I thought you were supposed to be Egyptian. Not a ballerina. That's the statue right there. <gasps> and it's moving. Oh my gosh. And did you notice, family, how it stopped moving when the lights in the museum went off? Why did it do that? I guess if the statue's actually alive, then it gotta go to bed just like the rest of us. Let him get some rest. Jeez. He clearly needs his beauty sleep. Because if he doesn't, he's just gonna end up getting buried in the coffins like the rest of the mummies. At least he'll be in a cool pyramid, though. Epic. This is a statue of Ganesha, and it's one of the most worshipped Hindu deities in the world. And it's most known because it looks like an elephant, because it has an elephant head. Pretty cool. It's very common for people of the Hindu faith to leave offerings for Ganesha, you know, as a token of good faith. Or maybe they're just trying to give her a birthday present. Either one works. But family, something really, really crazy happened in September. September 1995 because apparently when people brought Ganesha some more offerings, a little someone had a little milk with them. You know, like cow milk. And for some reason, this milk was around Ganesha's nose. And what do you think Ganesha did with it? She slurped that thing up like she was drinking juice out of a juice box. Like seriously, she stole the girl's milk. All in one shot too. So after this happened, obviously everybody was shocked. And then it became this huge phenomenon in India where everyone was just bringing her spoonfuls of milk and see if she was gonna slurp it. Spoiler alert, she did. Watch Ganesha slurp this milk. Look at her. Did you see her slurp that? The heck, Ganesha? When was the last time you drank some liquids? Cause you look thirsty. But I'd hate to see her face when somebody tells her that she's been drinking cow milk this whole time instead of elephant milk. Ugh, yeah, that's kind of awkward. People crowded around this temple from all around the country and fed Ganesha milk and more milk and more milk until she couldn't drink milk no more. It was a lot of milk. Thinking about it, somebody should probably give Ganesha Pepto-Bismol. Cause her stomach gonna be sore. But anyway, some people in the country were pretty divided. Some of them thinking that this is a crazy miracle that happened. And others just thinking that the people who thought it was crazy are just crazy themselves. Because they didn't believe it. But either way, I say, good job, Ganesha. You got yourself a lot of free milk. All you gotta do next time is ask for some cereal and you're all set. Okay, this next one I'm about to tell you about is kind of weird, but family just... Try and bear with me. This is a statue of the Virgin Mary located somewhere in Argentina. And you might be like Alexia, she looks a little sad. She looks like she's been crying and her mascara's been running a little bit. Cause girlie's got raccoon eyes. But family, that's not runny mascara. That's blood. Yeah, like you know, the red ketchup stuff. The stuff you put on your hamburgers and hot dogs. Yeah, that kind of stuff. Apparently this cursed statue has cried real blood. Not once, not twice, not five times, 38 times. Like what the heck? That's weird and creepy. And did I mention weird? <sighs> I don't know what boyfriend hurt her so bad that she has to cry out ketchup from her eyes 38 times. But sounds like ladies traumatized. Or maybe just really likes ketchup. Just think whenever she orders nuggies now, she never has to ask for dipping sauce because she already got it on her face. It's called caring about the environment. Zero waste. <laughs> this is live footage of the doll crying out that ketchup. And you can see there's literally nothing else around the statue that could be putting the blood there. Nothing's crying all by itself. This statue is owned by the Frias family. And apparently they say the statue is not actually cursed and that it's actually a miracle. Huh? One of the family members spoke out and said that the statue was actually given to her after she suffered a miscarriage. And then since April 2017, the doll just would not stop crying the blood. This leading to people from all around the world coming to try and see the statue crying in action because they thought that it would bring them good luck. Y'all think that's crazy? Well, think again, family, because apparently this statue cured people of some tumors, cancers, and all other sorts of bad stuff. Like maybe they're hunger too. Because they might have got a lick of that cat up on her face. <laughs> Actually, ew, that's nasty. Family, comment down below ketchup as the secret word in today's video, and I'll try and hurt your comment. Or maybe I'll just give you a bottle of ketchup, whichever one you prefer. Here are some very creepy statues at the bottom of the ocean in Granada. And apparently they just keep multiplying and multiplying. And more of them just keep popping up in the ocean every single day. And apparently they're all so alive too. This dude Jason DeClaris Taylor decided that he wanted to build an underwater... 
sculpture garden where he built these statues and instead of putting them on land, he buried them in the ocean. I mean, why have people see them anyways when they can just be sucked on by fish instead? So they kept making more and more statues and the garden got bigger and bigger. And the garden actually became so popular that different scuba divers would specifically dive to this location so they can see all the cool creations. But then over time, the statues started growing all these weird underwater fish stuff on them, like algae and other stuff like that. And then apparently that's when the statues actually started becoming alive. Ooh. I mean, look at this picture of this statue. I can't tell if that dude grew two eyeballs or if it's just two giant fish eggs. Hmm, I'll have to double check that one. This is the golden blinking Buddha from Malaysia. And apparently somebody caught him on a phone camera, blinking his eyes, moving his lips, and even breathing. But the thing is, apparently they caught it back in 2011. And let's be real, back then the phone quality was garbage. So from the footage I'm about to show you, it's kind of hard to tell if he's actually blinking or it's just from all the pixelation of the video. This is the video right here, family. I don't know, you tell me. Do you think this blinking Buddha is actually blinking? Or do you think it's just crummy video quality? No, oh, I swear I think I just saw him blink. But actually, I don't know. But maybe, yeah. But I don't know. Oh, don't ask me, family. I'm not sure. Let me know in the comments what you guys think if he was blinking or not blinking. Have you ever seen a two-headed turtle? I didn't think so, but here you go. Yes, it might be weird, but look how cute he looks. Or should I say they look? Is that technically one person or two? Two heads, one body, but how many hearts? Wait, do turtles even have hearts? If they didn't, that would explain how they can swim in all that cold water. Them hearts be cold. Or non-existent. And why snapping turtles almost bit my finger off last summer. Very close, but not close enough, Mr. Turtle. I didn't forget about you. Turtles already move around so slow, I can't imagine how slow this turtle would be with a whole extra head. All them baby turtles trying to cross that beach and get into the water before the evil birds up above try and eat them. But oh wait, the birds see the turtle with an extra head and that's their jackpot. Why hunt two turtles when you can hunt just one and get the same amount of meat? It's like cracking open an egg with two yolks in it. And out of all the things I could get doubles of, I don't think an egg yolk is one of them. Too much cholesterol. I'm too young to get a heart attack. Give it to grandpa instead. Meet Lucky the two-headed calf. Actually, technically it's two-faced calf because they share the same head. And they even share the same brain too. Yikes, imagine sharing the same brain with your brother. I don't want to think about pizza and race cars all day, but he would probably force me to if we shared the same brain. How rude of him. Or maybe I wouldn't think that it's rude because we'd be sharing the same brain and then he would be telling the brain to tell me that it was nice. <sighs> I don't know, family. Lucky the calf was born on a farm in Kentucky from farmers Stan and Brandy. They say that they've never had something happen like this before, but I don't know, family. Look at them and look deeply into their eyes. Do we trust them or are we a little bit suspicious? I'm thinking suspicious. Will we ever know if they're regular farmers or weird farmers that farm farms of two-headed calves? No, we won't. And quite frankly, that's a secret that I don't want to know. Some things are better left unsaid. Or below the head. Not double head, single head. Because I don't want to hear it. Lucky has two mouths, two noses, and two pairs of eyes. That means he can always see every single thing you do. All that stupid stuff you be doing behind the barn? Yeah, Lucky sees that in 4K HD. But don't worry, he only got one brain, so... He won't remember by morning. This dude owns the world record for the largest collection of two-headed animals in the whole world. Kind of weird, but kind of cool. No, 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 weird, but also cool. Weird, no, I'm saying weird. And what's his prized possession in his collection? His two-headed dragon. You know, like the things that breathe fire. And no, I'm not talking about your daddy's tushy after he ate Chipotle. That's a different kind of flame. These are two-headed bearded dragons and they're actually smaller than the palm of your hand. So yeah, definitely less scary than your dad eating Chipotle. To be honest, I don't think there's much that is scarier. Oh, memories I'm trying to forget. A man in China was super surprised when his pig gave birth to a two-headed little piggy. This little piggy went to the market. This little piggy stayed home. This little piggy had roast beef. And this little piggy cloned himself into two heads. 
Maybe he has a superpower. Maybe that little piggy's also Spider-Man. Who knows? Spider webs aren't the only thing he's spinning. He's spinning heads too. The farmer was offered $300 for his two-headed pet pig, but I guess he just gave him a no thank you and told them to be on his way. He wanted the two porky heads for himself. Who knows? Maybe he wanted a nice ham dinner for Thanksgiving. And that, my friends, is a definition of meathead. Literally. Eat up! Three words, two-headed snake! Oh! Why does that thing look like a slingshot paddle? Because if something like that came up to me, I'm not just slinging away the balls. I want to sling that thing away with it, too! Far, far away! Two-headed snakes means double the chance for you to get bitten by it, or double the chance for you to get venom in your blood! Now that's dangerous! Apparently it's not the most uncommon thing in the world to see a two-headed snake, and for that, I would like to say that I'm retiring from life. It's over, it's done. Put me in a metal box and throw away the keys cause I don't think I could live in a world knowing that those things are roaming the streets around me. I already gotta worry about bears, spiders, other humans. Specifically my family. Cause they're on to something, I know it. But now I gotta worry about those things too. Uh, excuse me, sir? Please don't hurt me, pretty please. I'll be good, I promise. This fisherman found an oddly sized fish one day in his fishing net, took it out, took a couple pictures, and then because it was already accidentally oof, he ended up throwing it back in the ocean. But what he didn't know is after when he showed these pictures to a doctor, a sea doctor, marine biologist, is that what they're called? He told him that it was a rare one of seven two-headed dolphins in the whole world world what that's kind of cool but also kind of really sad because he accidentally oofed him i guess we don't know if he was already oofed before or if he got oofed from the fishing net but either way he's gone and not mm. coming back unless he washes up on the beach shore and in that case who's throwing the dolphin's funeral and do we gotta pay for one funeral or two because if it's caused by head we're in trouble y'all want to pitch in mm. I didn't think so. What's worse than a regular cat? A two-headed cat. Twice the evil. Twice the fun. If your idea of fun is getting your eyes scratched out from their claws. Cause cats are ruthless. And I know family, I talk a lot of smack about cats, but this cat is actually kind of cute. Betty B was born as a house cat in South Africa. But unfortunately family, if you don't want to hear sad news, this is your time to close your ears. Betty B ended up oofing only six 16 days after she was born. The one cat I ever liked in this whole world had to leave just like that before I even got to know her. Dang, life ain't mm. fair. Whatever happened to your seven lives, Betty B? You're telling me you already wasted six of them falling out of that apple tree? Jeez, girl, you be spending your cat lives just as fast as I be spending my Robux. Very quickly and kind of ruthlessly. Maybe me and cats aren't so different after all. Hmm. Uh-oh. Meow? Oh, that felt so wrong. We're starting off with a TikTok from Hidden on Google Earth. And if y'all watched my other video, you know how I feel about them. So let's see how this goes. Is this Pennywise? Oh man, they're gonna show us Pennywise. Not now, we just started the video. They got no chill. I'm ready to see it. Let's just see it. I don't wanna, I just wanna see it. Ah, yeah, yeah. Wait a sec, that ain't no Pennywise. If anything, that looks like the dude from Saw. But even the dude from Saw looks more handsome than dad. Is he kinda ugly? Wait until the end. Well, I don't think they know who they're talking to because if they did, they'd know I got no patience. Let's go, TikTok, let's go, I wanna see it. What am I waiting for? This better be good. Okay, we got some buildings. It looks pretty regular to me and... Ah, what is in that window? Oh man, I don't think that's a human. Heck, I don't even think that's an alien. Cause that thing is so past outer space that it pretty much got taken back to inner space. Which doesn't that mean Earth? Heck, I don't know, maybe it is a human. Human, but a creepy looking one indeed. You ain't invited to my birthday party. Not even if you bring me a cake. Hmm. Okay, fine family, you got me. If you bring a cake, you can come. But it has to be chocolate. <laughs> Who would like to live here? Where? In the water? You mean getting all wet every day, never being able to wear clothes because they're just drenched in liquid? Wait, what is this? Is that a house? I think that's a house. Wait, is this one of those trendy tiny homes? 
that you find on Airbnb for like $700 a night, even though it's the size of a shoebox. But Alexia, it's trendy, it's cool, it's hipster. The vibe is worth the price. Oh no, no, family, not true. If you're gonna try and sell me a shoebox for $700, there better be some gold coins in there. And heck, throw in a chocolate cake too, with rainbow sprinkle. Mmm. I have just found a giant alien face. Mmm. Hold up. This TikTok's from Hidden on Google Earth. Do we trust it? I don't know. All right, let's see this real alien face head thing. Whoa. Okay, what the heck is that? Not gonna lie. Pretty impressed. Kind of reminds me of that game I used to play that has like hundreds of pins sticking out of it. And you press your hand into it and then it pokes out the other side with the shape of your hand. So does that mean that there's a face underneath all that snow that's making it have that shape? Uh oh, family. That ain't good. Now this is reminding me less of Mount Rushmore and more of a murder. You know what I mean? Ooh. Uh, Chucky, is that you, sir? Mmm, I don't see anything yet, family. But you know what? All of the scariest horror stories start out looking normal, too. Wait, ah, that's actually Chucky. Oh, my gosh, that's actually Chucky. Why are they doing this to us? Hidden on Google Earth. Oh, of course it was you. I swear, if you weren't so hidden on Google Earth yourself, I'd come after you myself because baby girl i can run fast but what is my boy chucky doing riding a bike at nighttime first of all isn't it past your bedtime chuck second of all what are you doing being selfish riding a bike for fun you know you got families to hunt <gasps> guys chucky do i gotta tell you everything they never learn i found a massive snake skeleton hold up does someone want to explain to me what a snake skeleton is because excuse me for being dumb but i thought they were spineless oh wait sorry i think i was just talking about myself because everybody's so mean to me mm. uh, but i don't want to see this snake skeleton looking thing it's gonna be creepy i know it oh la la what in the slithering sneaky smelly snake is that that ain't normal it almost looks too perfect though is that a real snake or a building because either way i don't know which one's worse knowing that there was a giant snake that roamed our world or knowing that there was somebody psycho enough to want to make a giant snake that roamed our world but he got some fantasies that he should have probably kept to himself Ugh. i found a giant robot uh newsflash dude there already are giant robots in this world wait hold up that's not real that's fake i'm calling fake that's me with a computer somebody with very good editing skills heck who knows family maybe it was even me you'll never know have I just found aliens? Let's find out. Wait, are they in a spaceship? <gasps> Whoa, that's an... Oh, wait a sec. We're getting trolled again. That ain't no alien. That's a stuffed pillowcase that's made to look like an alien imposter. But boy, you really missed the mark on that one. Because you don't look like an alien. You just look like a wrinkly thumb. One, two, three, four. I declare a thumb war. Oh, it's on. Hanging coffins? Okay, what do y'all mean? I do not know what you're trying to tell me. And I'm actually pretty nervous. Okay, this is a regular... Wait, what is that? I'm confused. Oh, they didn't mean coffin. <coughs> coffin? They meant coffin, coffin. Like you just slipped on a banana and oofed yourself into the ground, coffin. Because you's a goner. But why are they hanging like that? These things are hanging off the edge of the wall just like a balcony hangs off of a five-star hotel. But I don't think it's that luxurious. I guess even after they oof, they're still trying to flex on us? But dude, why don't you just go back into the ground where you belong? You're really pale, really wrinkly, and you probably smell like a five thousand day old tuna sandwich stay away i found a rocket launching on google earth oh man family this is gonna be good let's see what they got for us whoa okay okay this one's actually pretty cool google maps captured a moment in history something that probably won't happen again for a long time but my question is this don't like 99 percent of rockets actually fail and end up falling back to earth so if that's true does that make this evidence for the future mercy because I don't want to be a part of it. We zoom in. Zoom in. Zoom in. Man, what? Coca-Cola? What are you doing there, bro? Is the middle of the desert really an ideal spot for your advertisement? I think you missed the mark with that one. Whoever's on your marketing team needs to be fired. Unless it's actually the smartest advertisement in the whole world because now the whole world sees it on Google Maps. Whoa. Mind blown. Exploring the world's most expensive 
tons of houses. Oh, wow, this is gonna be good. If you can't buy a million dollar mansion, family, just stock them on Google Earth. That's so much better than actually living there. With this mega zoom feature on Google Maps, I feel like I already live there. Either that or it's giving people weird ideas on how to break into people's homes. Now that would not be good. Don't do that, family. That ain't nice. Or legal. Y'all are crazy. WTF. Ooh, family. They just swore. One dollar in the swear jar. Okay, what do we got going on here? We got a forest. Ah, that's a human peeking out on us. Which is exactly what I just said you should not do. We don't like stalkers on this channel. Or creeps or random tree climbing people. The tree probably hates you too. Bet you thought y'all were friends, didn't ya? Mm-mm-mm. What's my deal? Blah, 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 blah. I do not know this language. I'm sorry. Um, but let's see what this thing is. I think it's European something. Okay, a cute grandma. And oh, grandma! What are you doing with an axe, grandma? That's a dangerous thing to hold, grandma. I think you should let go, grandma. Please. Man, old people be crazy. And another one of language that we do not know, so... Let's get this surprise. <laughs> what is this? My dude, you really did that. I guess I only have one question for you. And that question is, can you get me one? Imagine riding one of those things just like you ride a fast motorcycle down the road. Except with this, if anyone pisses you off, my motorcycle can just bite his head off. Ah, don't you love driving? It ain't road rage if I don't get mad. My dinosaur does it for me. What have I found? I don't know, sir. Won't you tell me what you found? Let's see. Oh, what is that? Oh, okay, sir. I'm not judging, but looks like somebody needs a razor. You missed a couple spots. How are you going to get a girlfriend when you can't even smoochy smooch with somebody without getting a giant hairball in your mouth? <laughs> That's gross. Que abra pasado aquí? I think that's Spanish for what the heck happened in here? <gasps> Oh, man, I didn't want to see this. I did not see this. I am not a part of any evidence. No investigation. I don't want to be called in for questioning. Okay, this just looks like a regular house. With a creepy children's bike that's covered in ketchup. <gasps> and a creepy girl that's not even looking at us. Oh, man, something went wrong. And I don't think it was just the girl who dropped her cranberry juice on the ground. Yikes. Okay, we got a street and a cute dog. And ah, grandma. Not you again. I told you to put that thing down. Why you old people never listen? What have I found? Probably something very weird and creepy. I don't know. Just a guess. Okay, we got buildings. We got a nice park. Things look fine. And... Uh, huh? What is that? Oh, totally normal family. Nothing to see here. Just a bunch of babies climbing a giant building and probably gonna fall to their dark, dark doom. I see that all the time. Totally not suspicious. I know. Here we have another perfectly normal thing. A dad taking out his kid to the beach while cosplaying as a unicorn. Just dad things. But the most odd thing that I've seen today has to be this picture right here. Is it a snake? Is it a worm? Is it a mangled ear in the water? I don't know. But whatever that thing is, I probably wouldn't go near it unless y'all want to be its next snack. Because he might have already eaten five orders of McDonald's today, but believe me, he's still hungry. You don't get a stomach that big from eating broccoli all day. What have I found? I don't know, sir. You tell me. Oh, these videos are always so suspenseful because it takes them so long to zoom in. What is that? <gasps> oh, that thing's the mix between a giant bird and Pennywise. Both things I don't like. Especially birds. Those things are evil. Canadian geese, to be precise. Those things will bite your head off. Mr. Pennywise, bird, sir, I don't know why you're in the forest. There ain't no children in there. I don't care how many red balloons you hold up as a sign. The kids ain't gonna see you. In fact, I think it's better that way that they don't. Because your outfit's not really on fleek. When we said get good drip, we didn't mean swim around in muddy water. Because you're looking a little dirty. WTF. Oh, I'm nervous for this one. It's in the water? No. Wait, now it's on ice? Whoa, what is that? Is that a mechanical elephant? And why is it on the water? We all know elephants can't swim. In fact, their specialty is sinking because they real heavy. One little crack of that ice and boom. All that hard work y'all did to make that thing gone down the drain or down the ice hole. 
Uh, excuse me, sir. Do you know that you got three legs? I'm not judging you for it. In fact, I think it's pretty cool. But he's probably an all-star at track, soccer, and hacky sack all at the same time. That extra leg be doing a lot of work. Do we think his three legs like each other or don't like each other? Are they three happy brothers or three twins that hate each other? Because you never know. The left leg might fight with the right leg and then the middle leg gets caught in the middle of it. And talk about Buddy's pant game too. How's he even put them on? There's so many different holes and alleys that Buddy's practically wearing a three-way bowling lane. All fun and games until a bowling ball falls straight on your foot. Oh. Is this real? Uh -huh. I don't know. Is that a school? Where are we going? We're in some kind of bus station or alleyway. <gasps> what is that? Was that a person? Was that? Oh, 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 oh no! Batman! Batman, buddy! What are you doing in a subway station? Better yet, what are you doing in a hole in a wall in a subway station? If you're looking for the cafeteria, they closed down hours ago! And no, you don't get a superhero discount. I know you fight crime and all, and you save the world, but... You still gotta pay $4 for your turkey sandwich just like the rest of us. Oh, wait, you don't like turkey? You only like ham? Oh, okay, whatever, Batman, you know what I mean. Go back home to your wife and kids. Because if they find out that this is the reason why daddy's never home, yeah, that ain't gonna be good. What is this? Ooh, they're by some really pretty water. Where do we think they are, family? Maybe somewhere in the Caribbean. Oh, look at all that water. Wait. Oh, yo, that dude's walking on water! Tell me I'm wrong, family, but that guy was definitely standing on water. I thought only magicians can do that. Or my dog sometimes when he's really trying to impress me for a treat. Is this proof we live in a simulation? Okay. Whoa! No, 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 no! What is that? Dude turned a bit to the right and found a whole portal to a new universe. Did he just open the door to Narnia, but in the sky? Or maybe like the movie Up where they float up into the sky and live in their house there? It does look like the house is flipped though. I mean, I guess they're floating from the sky, so what can you expect? Talk about motion sickness. That's one of those things that sounds cool in theory, but then when you actually do it, it's really not that cool. You trying to flip your pancakes in the morning and then boom, house shakes a little and then pancakes strike on the face. You try and go to the bathroom, house shakes a little, and then apple juice on the... You know where I'm going with this family. Yeah, not good, not good. Maybe if I was rich and wanted to send my dog somewhere for a timeout, yeah, I'd send him there. No treats in that house, boy. Plane crash spotted on Snap Maps? <laughs> Wait, you're telling me that Snapchat knows stuff that other people don't? Or that other maps don't? Okay, Snapchat. <gasps> Whoa! Oh my gosh, they're not kidding! That's like a... Skeleton of a plane? Or the remainders of what's left? Come on, Snap Map, show me if there's any people around. Are there any survivors stuck trying to float on a wing or something? Or do you think they just got eaten by sharks? I mean, I doubt we're as tasty as the other fish in the sea, but when you're hungry, you're hungry. Gotta eat something. Even if that something's a foreign travel blogger. Is this H-E double hockey sticks? Uh-oh, I don't like the sound of that. It looks like they're in some desert or... Oh, why is it all red? Oh man, that is creepy. Kind of like they're in some kind of prison? I guess a prison down below. Isn't technically everywhere down there a prison? You don't gotta put no gates up. If you made it down there, you're pretty much in jail for life or forever in the afterlife. I don't know. This is creepy. What is creepy? I'm just in a regular neighborhood and oh um yeah guy in all black robes can't see his face or anything not suspicious at all sign me up to be his best friend maybe we could go for sushi or something oh you don't like to eat hand rolls you only like hand guns uh okay never mind this is scary mm, i don't want to look Ah, this is about to 
is killing me! Let's go! Oh. Whoa, no. No, I'm not seeing that. That is not real. <gasps> Holy jeez! Those are babies. On a string. In a backyard. What? D dude, no, this can't be real. This is not real. Don't tell me that this is real. Are those fake babies? Tell me those are plastic dolls. The only way that this could be acceptable is if you're running a baby boot camp of some kind, teaching kids how to swing through trees like Tarzan. But something tells me that they're not big fans of Disney. And anything else is strictly psycho behavior. Whose hand is this? Huh? Does that mean the guy's hand on the screen? Like the fingers who's zooming it in? Or are they about to show us some funky looking weird hand? Wait, are those fingers? Is that a giant hand? No. Wait, okay, that's a bridge. In very cloudy weather. Uh Wait, no! That's a giant hand holding the bridge up! That's kind of cool. Okay, Google Maps, I'll give you that. This place is scary! Oh yeah, okay, this looks deserted. It looks dirty. It looks haunted. Oh, what is the picture of that girl on the door? And why she looks so upset? And one candle in a... Oh. Wait, what is that? Was that a spider? Dude, okay, this place is definitely cursed. And that smile on that plank of wood might look friendly, but I don't trust him. He might be looking like he's smiling right now, but trust me, he's seen more water than a surfboard in Hawaii. He cries every day. I mean, even ask his buddy the pumpkin beside him. He'll tell you. Well, actually, I don't know if he can talk anymore after he got his mouth carved out for Halloween. Yeah, that's not fun. What is this place? Well, I don't know, Google Maps. You're supposed to be the one telling me. Oh, what is it, though? Oh, that's a pretty sky and a pretty co- oh! 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 What do I even say to that? And it keeps going? What is that in the air? What? Oh! I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. Have you seen dinosaurs? That was one world one of emotions. Let's dissect what we just saw. Beautiful sky. Check. Girl with a cool jacket, check. Girl with a cool jacket with a pet spider, check. <laughs> then we got a flying package, a spider truck. And at this point, we might as well just toss in some dinosaurs too. Because apparently the world is just backwards now. Yep, that's a good start. Super cat. Oh man, I know I like dogs better than cats, but let's see a feline. Okay, where's the cat? All I see is a house. Where's the... <laughs> Mr. Cat. What was that? You find your owner for not giving you enough tuna again? Or maybe you just had too much catnip. That stuff makes you crazy. What? Wait, are you asking me what or am I saying what to you? What is this gonna be? Like, literally what? Okay, we're zooming, we're zooming, we're zooming. When are we gonna be done zooming? Uh, we're done... Ah! Okay, yeah, maybe let's go back to just zooming. WTF is he doing? Who's he? All I see is houses and trees and roads and cars and I literally see nobody. <gasps> oh, what the? Who that? And sir, if I may ask you a question, what are you doing in the sky? More specifically, what are you doing in the sky with no parachute? Your body is about to be as flat as my pancakes on a Sunday morning. And believe me, my mom's pretty skimpy with pouring the batter. Funny street view finds. Okay. Uh, oh! Wait, that's not funny! That's just spooky! Imagine waking up one day and knowing that flying goats exist! Bro, I'm going back to bed. What do we got here? <laughs> okay, that dinosaur is actually funny. Now we're in a field of some sort. And oh, my friend had a bad day on the road. Y'all think his Big Mac survived the crash? Because I heard those things are pretty indestructible. Crash proof, bullet proof, mold proof. You know, because it's practically not even real food anymore. And it's kind of like eating plastic. Allegedly. Oh, we're under the water now. Holy, what the heck? What is that? A whale? A shark? 
But do y'all think it's even real though? Cause let me ask you this, Google, how'd you get those cameras under the water, huh? Oh, you used underwater cameras? Well then how'd you get the picture of the shark without it eating you, huh? Oh, the guy who took this photo got eaten right after. And all that was left was the SD card of the camera? Whoa, that just got deep. Google Maps employees be doing too much. Oh, okay, there's a cat like, whoa! I was not expecting that cat. Why y'all gotta gang up on me, bro? Two against one, that's not fair. I'm kind of intimidated. Especially when those green eyes of yours look like they wanna eat my soul. But lucky for me, I don't have one. So move along, Mr. Cat. Google car ordering McDonald's? <laughs> okay, family, remember that comment I told you about Google employees doing too much? Yeah, we'll scratch that. They out here buying chicken nuggies when they're supposed to be working. They're living my dream. My beautiful chicken nugget filled dream. It's no fair. When you're working and eating chicken nuggets at the same time, it's not called working anymore. It's called vacation. Is this a real... <gasps> Prisoner? What do you mean? What? Oh my gosh, that is definitely a real prisoner. He's even wearing the orange jumpsuit and everything. And he's on an abandoned road running down the street. I think he just broke out of jail. Uh, should we call the po-po and tell them? Does anybody know about this? Because clearly Google Maps be keeping some secrets. Google Maps or Google Kidnaps. Because they'd be helping criminals get out of jail. Mmm. And speaking of kidnapping, apparently this person just witnessed one of those. Oh man, I don't want to see this. I don't want to know anything, okay? I don't want to be involved at all and... <laughs> Wait a second. That ain't no real kidnapping. That's clearly fake. The guy's holding up his hands like this. He's not even holding a real... They probably saw the Google Maps drone that flies around the town and then decided to put on a show, duh. Or it's actually not a show and this is 100% real. And in that case, yikes. I know nothing. What have I found? Oh, I don't know, Google Maps. You tell me. Oh, what's gonna happen? The suspense is killing me. I just wanna know. Why do they have to spend 10 minutes zooming in and stuff? Uh, ah! Oh, oh, okay, no, I changed my mind. I do not want to know. That was a zombie or something. Or a girl who just really needs some makeup lessons. Like, girl, what is that foundation? Your face and your hands don't match. And you're not even wearing gloves. That's the problem. What is this scared emoji bird emoji? Why bird emoji? That's kind of weird, don't you think, family? Okay, we're just in a regular restaurant and- Oh my gosh! These are some birds! And I hate birds! I'm actually kind of really scared of birds. So we're just gonna skip these birds. And act like they don't exist, birds! Because that made me feel uncomfortable. All right, family, this next one is actually pretty weird. Apparently, some dude was flying his drone in his city, and then he happened to come across the roof of a really tall building, and, uh, he found something unexpected. He found something tall and lanky. He found something blue. He found Huggy Wuggy! H-U-G-G-Y Wuggy! You know, the guy that eats people? And will probably eat your drone, too, if it gets any closer to him? Look at him just chilling on top of the building acting like nothing's happening. He's looking cool and comfortable just cruising like this. Well, cut the act, Huggy. Your jig is up. We all know you're not cool. We just think you're evil. And actually, to be honest, kind of lazy too. Because what are you doing just sitting down relaxing there? Don't you have some kids to scare? Huggy Wuggy chewed one kid's head off and then just called it a day. Come on, Huggy, get on your grind. Or maybe he just finds it hard to focus since Kissy Missy dumped him. Well, you know what? She probably dumped you because you're lazy. I have no sympathy. Hmm. Meet Duck the two-legged cat. I know I said I hate cats before, but do I hate them enough to want both of their arms completely chopped off? I don't think so. That's just savage. This cat be looking like a kangaroo in training, hopping on two legs only and hiding his arms to his side. Except that cat ain't hiding anything. What you see is all that he got. This cat is walking like a circus act on stilts or like I would tiptoe around my house if I'm trying to sneak a little late night snack. He kind 
kind of looks like one of those moles from Whack-A-Mole. He got no arms, but he still be popping up his head. Up and down. You know what I mean? This is the longest cat in the whole world. So long you could practically unroll it and lay it out like a carpet. Cause he's fluffy like one too. Except I would watch where you end up stepping on that carpet because you might end up getting a scratch on your foot or your toes getting bitten off if you accidentally put your foot in his mouth. Cause like we said before, the cat will eat you. One benefit of having a cat as a carpet is that the carpet would clean itself. Hmm, which means less cleaning. So would I trade losing my foot for never having to clean my carpet again? Oh, uh, maybe. I'd say worth it. This cat actually lives in Italy and is actually pretty famous. He gets interviewed by all the Italian magazines and even has his own paparazzi. He famous, famous. And as you can see, the cat still does not look impressed at all. No potographs, please. This cat has a resting bleep face, let's say. I'm not sure if it's so much of a bleep face or if it's more of a look on your face that you get after your parents tell you that you're adopted. Little Jimmy, you're a redhead in a family of all blondes. How could you not figure that out sooner? Practically your fault. Imagine you're just sleeping in your bed one night and you wake up to something staring at you like that. What would you do? No, seriously. Y'all Thing that's the beginning of an oofing scene. A murder scene? Cause I sure would. The only place I would want something looking at me like that is behind a prison cell. That thing looks dangerous. And not in a way of, ooh, you a bad boy kind of guy. I like dangerous. No family, not like that at all. This is more of a, oh, you're actually a bad kind of guy? And you're actually very dangerous? Kidnap me away from my family to never come home kind of dangerous? Uh oh, I don't like the sound of that one. Lock this cat up and put him away to jail. That's pussycat prison for you, boo. Purr. You ever have a friend that you're not sure if they're kind of sneaky with you behind your back? You might even call them two-faced? Well, why get lied to from a human? Well, you can get lied to from a pussycat. At least this cat ain't hiding any of its multiple personalities. Unlike your BFF Sarah, cause she a snake girl and we all know it. Or maybe now the new word for a snake can be cat. Cause they're both equally as sneaky. This cat is 12 years old and has two sets of eyes, two sets of nose, and two sets of mouths. Does only one of you get to eat or do you put food in both of y'all's mouths? And if so, how do you decide who gets to eat first? Cause honey, if that was me, you know I ain't waiting. Heck, I'ma steal the food out from the mouth beside me because it's all going in the same body anyways. My kibble is your kibble. Your kibble is my kibble. So let me eat for the both of us. What came first, this cat or the sun and moon iPhone emoji? Cause I'm starting to think somebody copied from somebody and I'm not too sure who. This cat is kind of like a black coffee versus a cafe latte. You either get a creamy or you don't. And clearly he couldn't make up his mind. Y'all think this cat got a split personality? Half the time he's nice, half the time he's not. Guess you never know what you get with him. In the day he's a regular cat and then by night he's fighting crime like Batman. Kind of looks like him too. Seems suspicious. Guess you never know what you get with him and maybe that's the fun of it, but probably not. Okay, family, I'm gonna show you this cat, but you gotta promise not to make fun of him. Y'all ever see the movie, uh, Hunchback of Notre Dame? Yeah, we found the main character, but in feline version. And to be honest, I don't know if that makes it better or worse. I guess humans aren't the only ugly thing on this planet. Cause now we gotta worry about cats too. But like I said, you gotta worry about more than just the looks of cats. You gotta look what they're gonna do to you too. Cause they'll attack you. Especially if you're gonna try and tell this cat that he ain't that good looking. Oh, he gonna come after you even quicker. With the swiftness. With the clawness. With the evilness. Show me a cat that's nice and then maybe I'll change my mind. If not, then I'm just gonna assume that they all come from Satan. <laughs> Devil's children. Cause that thing sure ain't coming from God. Ugh. This cat might look normal from first glance, but let me tell you, family, it ain't. This cat grew an extra pair of chicken wings, if we can call it that, on the inside of his tummy. I mean, I like chicken wings just as much as the next guy likes chicken wings, but I'd prefer it not to be growing out of my belly button. You know what I mean? Unless I could throw on some buffalo sauce on there and eat it right up on Wing Wednesday, then uh, yeah, I'll pass. 
This cat was born paralyzed in his back two legs. But to be honest, I don't know if he's actually paralyzed or if he's just trolling us because he kind of looks like he's just crouching just like I would crouch in a game of Call of Duty. Paralyzed kitty or really smart gamer? Hmm. Hmm. The vets at the hospital told the owners of this cat that since he's paralyzed, it would negatively affect his quality of life and that they should probably... Oof him. Hmm. But luckily, the owner decided not to do that and keep this cute little thing as a pet. But to be honest, after seeing this thing walk around the house, I don't know if it's more of a pet or more of a mop slash floor duster. Because he'd be sweeping that floor up real good. Good job, kitty. Clean that floor up for mommy and she'll let you play another game of Call of Duty. <laughs> This cat was born with such big googly eyes that it can actually never fully shut. Even when he's sleeping. Which, to be honest, is kind of creepy. Because I guess he's always got an eye on you. No matter what. Always looking at you, staring at you. That gives him more time to plot your murder case. Because we know cats are sketchy. Family, if you're going to learn anything from this video, it is to not ever trust cats. Especially that one. Because he's thinking about something. And I don't think it's about his next meal. Or maybe it is. And that next meal is you. Oh, man. Now, family, this next picture of a cat might spook you out a bit. And you might think it's a picture from some horror movie called Evil Animals and the Three-Headed Monster. But it's not. This is a real picture of a real cat cat with three heads on it. I didn't want to show you this family, but I had to. If you still don't believe cats are sketchy, then I'm just going to leave you with this picture. Go ahead. Take a look. Closer. Closer. Now, if you're telling me you're looking into those eyes and don't see pure evil, then maybe it's you who's evil instead. Heck, you might as well put your head on top of that cat's body too, because you one of them. Apparently, this cat actually comes from China, from a lab when they were doing some animal testing, trying to make a real life-size Hello Kitty. Don't ask me why, I don't know. And then they ended up with this thing. Oh boy, am I gonna sleep well tonight with my Hello Kitty pillow. <sighs> I can't look at her the same ever again. Mm. And finally, family, we got the cat who didn't want to be a cat so bad that it tried to turn itself into a peacock. Uh, excuse me, pussycat? You ain't no peacock, girl. You're a pussycat. No peacock, pussycat. No pussycat, peacock. No, you're not a peacock. You're a pussycat. I don't know, family. All I know is whatever this thing is, I wish it wasn't something. I kind of just wish it disappear. Because peacock or pussycat, that thing ain't right. In fact, I think it should be illegal. Unless it's a chameleon trying to transform into a blue avatar, then maybe I'd accept it. Because anything's cooler than being a cat. You know what I mean? Ah, uh, McDonald's hash browns. A staple in pretty much everyone's morning at some point in their life. If you don't like McDonald's hash browns, you're lying. You can always count on them to come hot, tasty, and with a cockroach in them. Yes, family, what you're looking at is a hot and crispy cockroach. Allegedly. Hot and crispy with a side of salmonella. McDonald's be like, hmm, what's the easiest way we can add protein in our food? Well, we could use the cockroaches in the back of our kitchen. And we get them for free, too. Perfect. No one will even notice. This person was trying to order a sandwich at Subway, but instead of getting a foot-long sub, he got a foot-long knife. Allegedly. Who knows, family? Let's not get too mad too quick. Maybe the subway employee had a long day. Maybe he was just trying to cut that sandwich, but then fell asleep midway through. The other employee saw that he was sleeping, so he tried to help his homie out and wrap up the sandwich for him and give it to the customer, but didn't realize that the knife was still there. See? Totally reasonable. Except the part that if the guy would have took a bite of the sandwich with the knife in it, his taste buds probably wouldn't be as sharp as they used to be. But don't worry, the knife was still be fine. Sharper than ever. The subway employees, on the other hand, yeah, they probably got cut out of a job. But don't worry, family, if you can't trust breakfast and lunch anymore, now we're about to add in dessert into the mix. A beloved Mars bar. Caramel and cream on the inside. Delicious chocolate on the outside. But I don't know if you heard, family, they recently came out with a new recipe with a surprise in the middle. And that surprise is a... Person's tooth, allegedly. Yup, somebody bit into their chocolate bar trying to get their chocolate fix. And instead of fixing their cravings, they're probably gonna have to fix their teeth instead. You already know that poor grandpa's out there missing his front tooth. He woke up one morning and boom, it was gone.
fun. And little does poor grandpa know that that thing's sitting in a candy bar. Getting cavities from all that sugar too. Well, grandpa, you could go the rest of your life missing your tooth. Or you can buy up every single Mars bar in the whole world until you finally find your tooth again. Rice Krispies. Pretty good cereal, can't complain. Has three cute boys on the front that'll probably make you smile. But what I didn't know Rice Krispies can also do for you is make you fly? Because apparently they're selling their cereal with the side of wings. Cause that's the bat. Allegedly. I don't know if that 50% extra means 50% extra cereal or if it just means 50% extra smelly. Cause with that oofed bat in there, yeah, I don't think the box smells too good. Rice Krispies, more like rice steak. Stinkies. All right, family, we've seen a lot of cursed things in food, but we can't go wrong with bread, right? It's just simple white bread, even sliced up and everything. Well, family, I think there might have been something stuck on the slicing machine that day. Because there's a half-sliced mouse on that loaf of bread. And to be honest, I don't even know if it's oofed or alive. And I don't know which one's worse. I mean, if it's oofed, that's bad for everyone. The person eating the bread and the mouse. But if the mouse isn't oofed, that means that he went on a pretty cool adventure and probably got a snack out of it too. And he'll also have a pretty epic story to tell his mouse grandchildren. Instead of being a dead mouse, he became a bread mouse. And that's how he started his DJ career. Okay, this food technically doesn't have anything cursed in it, but family. Look at it, it's canned tongues. I don't think you can get any more cursed than that. Like what kind of tongues are we talking here? Sheep <laughs> tongues, cow tongues, human tongues. Oh man, they gotta be more specific. Look at those things. Ugh. Ryle. Tell me who is walking down a Costco aisle and it's like, yeah, I would love to buy some canned tongues today. Just what I need to put in my salad. <laughs> Those things are not croutons. You can't just sprinkle them on top and call it a meal. Unless you want it to be extra slippery and slimy. Yeah, in that case, go ahead. We got a chocolate box here. Seems pretty normal. If you like maggots in each piece. Some people like raspberry cream, coconut cream, Bailey's and cream, or maggots and dirt. They're all practically the same. And even when you're trying to eat healthy with some frozen veggies, you're still not safe. Because sometimes frozen vegetables pair perfectly with the side of frog. Even came frozen too. If it was a little bit more yellow, maybe I'd call it a French frog. You might even mix it up with the beloved French fry. But no. This one's a little different. Also a little bit more alive. Well, actually, I don't know anymore because it's frozen. But at least it won't feel slimy anymore. And if you close your eyes just to the right amount, you might even think you're eating a chicken wing. Close enough. This is a can of tuna. And this is a can of tuna with the tongue-eating parasite inside. I mean, I know not everybody eats fish because they say it's not good for the animals, but technically, this animal is not good for us because he's trying to eat us. Oh, wait. Wait a sec. That's probably how all the animals feel all the time when we're trying to eat them. Oh, whoa. I guess now we know how it feels. And it doesn't feel too good. Don't take my tongue away, Mr. Parasite, sir. I promise I won't try and eat you. Trust me. After seeing your picture, all I want to do is try and forget you. Because you look scary. Ah, the beloved Oreo. Two delicious cookies on the outside. Yummy white cream on the inside. But something you probably didn't know about the Oreo is that it also comes with the spider inside. Allegedly. Now, from this picture, I can't tell if the spider's still there or if that's just the outline of a spider in the Oreo icing. You know, like maybe he took a dip in the icing and made a little spider snow angel. But either way, I'm just not trying to eat an Oreo with a spider in it. Or any bugs for that matter. When I eat cookies, I want to get a sugar high. I'm not trying to get the sugar to cause me to die. You know, like from infections and diseases that that might cause. Yeah, maybe I'll just stick to Chips Ahoy instead. Still gotta watch out for those chocolate chips, though. You don't know what those could be? And now, family, after all of those cursed things we found, you might be like, fine, take a couple steps back from some brands, and let's just go for some plain and simple fruit. Like a banana. Well... Hate to break it to ya, but with natural fruit growing in nature, you might find some other things with it that uh also grew in nature. Like a scorpion. Yup. He was like, you trying to take my bananas away from me? No, no, sir. This is my home. These are my snacks. And if you're gonna take them, then you better take me with it.
and then I'll deal with whoever's trying to eat them. And by that, I mean that I'm gonna eat them first. Nobody takes my bananas. But anyways, family, that is all the cursed things found in food that I have for you today. If you liked today's video, smash like and smash subscribe. Don't forget to turn on all post notifications so you don't miss any of our videos. Also, don't forget to follow me on my Instagram right down here. I love you all so much. And I'll see you all in the next video.